or the teams uh, prioritizing of the Julian. But at the same time, they are the teams that uh, is not really good if up against a Zask pick. So the question here is that, are they to ban a Zask or are they to prioritize a Zask? So oh. they will ban up the Zask. So Thank you for that fast answer, Fnatic Onik and Coach Yeb. <laughs> so this is honestly a trade because you have the... Okay, Chusen was getting picked up. I was going to say Hayabusa and the Julian was opened. Whether or not you want to pick that up, uh -huh. I don't know. If it's... if it's uh, You pick up the Chusen, you're giving uh -huh. either Hayabusa or the Julian. Both of them have shown their merits. It's honestly a coin toss between the jungle positions over here and I think it's worthy of a prior. That being said, we might be able to see a Julian mid lane as well, but no, they go for the R lot priority. I think this works out very well in terms of either Keyboy or even Ludby. You are able to win that early game. We've seen time and time again a very, very strong mid lane duo and starting on with the rotations. I mean, we talk about like the early game a lot. The fact that there's a 60% win rate on this R lot does indicate that it's doing well, uh -huh. but that's under condition that there is somebody who can enable him to get uh, the extra mark so that he can keep using that vengeance. Let's see whether they're going to pair it up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. A chill on the second peak. I on love the that. Picks, yeah. I love that so much. It's it's honestly when uh, Keyboy actually plays that Cho. He's honestly had a 100% win rate on this Cho so far. He's been such a nuisance, especially in the jungle, knowing that now Kyle TZ is not playing an assassin. So this time around, we won't see an assassin versus assassin. It will be the the alpha in the jungle yeah, instead. This is very inter interesting for uh, Falcon Safety Brand because. Uh, Kyle DC doesn't re really use that alpha that much, but uh, this is something that they adapted from the play of YRG. So this is the same lineup, uh, except the Shushin, of course, uh, that uh, y uh, YRG used during MSC. Mm. So this is them um, bringing about something new to the table. So for Fnatic Onyx, it's more on the comfort side, right? Yeah. Kiboy on the Cho. I'm, I won't be surprised if there's going to be like a Vexana or even Valent oh, Valentina has been banned. I know it's going to be Hayabusa. Yep. We've mentioned about Assassins here. And it's going to be a, an interesting one. So if you're Falcons, Ape Bren, what's next for you in terms of Super Marco's hero? No, I. I, I just want to just uh, hold that thought just for a little bit. But Falcons AP Brand actually identified that Keyboy is one of the playmakers of Fnatic Onyx. That's why they're choosing to go for a very, very tanky, very sustained jungle. We're bringing back sort of like that Ube strategy that Philippines is pretty much known for. But this time in the form of a fighter jungler and a sustained tank in that Minotaur. That's why Ogwin loves this hero so much. Able to get that setup. You're able to chain that stuns. You're able to just heal up your the entirety of your team before jumping in like a death ball but then again you don't have that backline coverage we're moving into the second phase of that bands so the lilia is being banned out as well as the ruby i like the lilia ban especially using sans because we've seen the power that sans is bringing into that lilia yeah uh for fanatic onik i think it's good for them to ban uh, the edith already because uh, it will be another crowd control for the for them. It makes perfect sense if uh, they ban out any hero that has another crowd control, since it's uh, something that the Falcons AP Brand is setting up. Oh, it's gonna be obvious. This one is interesting, and uh, I just want to say that uh, this is a very specific uh, banning for from few. Coach Yeb and uh, for for few, just so for few, few. yeah. yeah. We've seen that yesterday, uh, how he uses the Fovius to just create so much space for that backline. So Super Marco, Moskov is on the table. You might be very able to pick that up. Or you want to go on a safe route, you can pick up the Roger as well. Then you can become that death ball that you so desperately want to be. Well, at, I mean, as conclusion of the second part of the banning phase, it's just targeting towards EXP from the side of Fnatic yep. Onik and Falcon's AP Brand deciding on mid laners at this point of time, which begs the question, what exactly is Sans going to get his hands on, especially since he has to deal with both Minotaur and as well as Zhushin? <sighs> yeah, Moscow is going to get picked up for Fnatic, but coming back to your question, I think Vexana is a very, very safe yeah, pick right here. Because you want to create, you you're, you you have a very squishy lineup in the yeah. early game, especially not coming from Cho, from Arlot. You need sort of like that front line. And in form of the Eternal Guard, it creates a lot of time for you, especially for Kyrie to find a nice angle over to the flank. Yeah, it's actually very nice also if you're up against melee heroes, even Alpha, something like that. So it will disrupt the formation when taking objectives or even take a uh, team fight. So Falcon Safety Brand, they're still lacking that. Uh, uh, probably high damage hero. I won't be surprised if they take. If they oh, take... Harith is open. Oh, right. Ha yeah, Harith you is got open. a lot of magic damage as well. You lock everything down. 
Oh, it would be the Roger. But the Thamos actually comes through. 100% win rate picked one time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is nice against a Cho. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, not only that. I think Falcon's AP brand, it's clear that they want to play for at least the first turtles. Because in the early stages yeah. of the game, that Thamos is a dangerous pick. Not not a lot of heroes can deal with him uh, pre-level 4. And even sometimes at level 8, he is still quite the nuisance. I'm guessing that it's going to go onto the hands of Flapteezy. He's going to get uh, the Vengeance as well. We come back to Fnatic Onik, and as you guys called it, the Vexana is going to get locked in. With that being said, though, what do you think about the lineups? Where are you leaning more towards to? Huh, I want to say uh, Fnatic Onika because it's a lot easier for them to execute. That the X-Plane has a crowd control as compared to the Thumbs Hero. It's uh, depending on how he will land those uh, Corrosion Sight uh, wisely mm -hmm. on a team fight. So, yep, uh, leaning towards Fnatic Onik. To be honest, I like FCAP's draft just because they're very tank tanky, beefy boys. They know how to, they want to play it. ogwin has been playing the Minotaur time and time again as well. But before we go, we want to hear your last thoughts, Gideon, on this draft. I think it really boils down to whether Fnatic, Onik are able to make some really key plays from early, mid, and late stages of the game if it does get there because Falcon's AP Brand, it's going to be a steady incline throughout the match in terms of power spikes. So good luck to both of these teams. Casters, it's all up to you. Lead us into the land of Dawn. Well, the beats are beating, the drums are rolling, we're loading into the land of dawn, it's the El Clasico, first game, Fnatic Audi on the blue versus FCAP, the rematch of M5. Chantel, how it what, <laughs> what do we want to play with? Like, how do we want to roll this game? How do we want to start it if we're both sides of the team? You know what, how I wish that this is uh, another game of seven. Right? Yeah, it's a But yeah, in, in terms of... Uh, Probably the playstyle of these uh, players or for this uh, hero composition for both. Definitely for Falcon Sabre Brand, they need those heroes to be available every time there is going to be a team fight. So uh, you want a few to be part of it. Uh, not only for Fnatic Onyx as much as possible, they can work around Kyrie farming from time to time. But oh, Fnatic hold on. Keyboy gets a very, very early. Yep, that's the first blood over to Flap TZ. We are able to clear that way. The rotations coming down onto that lethal is so, so lethal, if you get what I mean. The, yeah, I, I see what you did there. And uh, I got a feel like for, for uh, Falcon's Aper Brand, they really know how, really know how Keyboy rotates on this show. So they really started well on this one, but I'm Whoa, too late. Shadow kill onto Super Marco, but he gets out safe. Here comes Oakland there for the body block. He uses shadows to get out of the way. And Falcon's AP Bren, they're still keeping things passive. Everything is happening so fast, actually, for this game. It's just uh, less than two minutes of this match, but we've already seen those loads of aggression at the top lane, even at the bottom lane. So probably... Oh, here comes Kyrie. Whew. Almost, but not enough. <laughs> Oh man! It's okay. as if, it's as if I'm seeing a Natalia, but not on the, the stealth mode with the carry because he's just everywhere on the map, right? So if you're Falcons AP Bren, you have to be prepared for that because this is a war cry, a uh, Hayabusa. So if he is able to do the winning condition at early game, then probably it's gonna be fanatic Onyx game. But all depends on taking the turtle objective. Oh, it's a very, very quick level four. Flap TZ already in position. Few just using the pepper spray just to get Fnatic Onyx out of position. You get SOD goes wide. No follow up right there. It's a free turtle over the side of AP Bren. Good take. Good take for Falcon AP Bren. And um, it's interesting that we see this game on a slower pace, although there are aggression earlier at the top lane, probably because for Fnatic Onik, they're waiting for that activation of items from Chewe. So look at the lane, actually, Chewe is on top uh, of gold 1,700 versus uh, where's uh, uh, Super Marco 1,500. Oh, top side, actually, he's trying again. The Shadow Kill onto Super Marco, not enough to take him down. That's a very, very thick early game for that Roger and Fnatic Onik. They're trying to push their ways. They're a little bit more desperate. But Chantel, I have a question for you. Keyboy not doing so well against this Chu Sin. What's the play here if you're a Keyboy Cho? Uh, probably for Keyboy is uh, for that away of the Dragon. Again, because of that kill against him, um, the pattern of his visioning against Fnatic or Falcon's Aper Brand has been disrupted. So one step at a time, um, not really on that uh, route of uh, being uh, too aggressive because they have to take things one step at a time. Again, uh, Kyrie or Kyle TZ is at level 7 as compared to Kyrie who is at level 6. So they, they, you want to be on par in terms of uh, jungling if you are Fnatic Onik. Yeah.
And Few is just so annoying with the Lantern. He pops wide over the wall, trying to zone everyone out of way because the purple buff is in question. Keyboy gets caught in the middle. Here comes the Eternal Guard. Just to buy Keyboy some time. Swift Dragon pushes it open right in the midst of the turret. They take the purple buff. The final stash pushes Flap TZ back, but he's got a card in Inferno. He will be fine, but the Shadow Kill is coming wide. He'll take Flap TZ down. And Luffy in the midst of all of that getting pushed back. Kyle TZ trying to run oh. for his life. Luffy forces a flicker in and takes down his life. Two players down for Falcon's AP brand, and we could see the aggression now for Fnatic Onyx. One thing that Falcon's AP brand doesn't have to do on this game is to overdive on those areas of Fnatic Onyx. Yes, they wanted to get a purple buff. After that, uh, they could have not stayed on that area. Oh, because mid side, mid side. Chewe actually gets in a spot of bother. It gets taken down by Super Marco, but now the turtle getting slain by Kyrie. They want to go for the re engage. Luffy, Sliver of Health won't be able to survive this one, but Kyrie will. Desperately trying to get underneath the turret to safety, but here comes Feel trying his best to dive. He gets pulled back. He won't be able to go anywhere. That's a kill over to Flap Teasy. Everything is happening so fast, Churros, on this game. Right when I was about to explain something, they get a kill out the middle lane. So this is something that Falcon's AP brand is uh, known for. So uh, it's very effective for them. But knowing that uh, the gold lead is pretty much close for both uh, teams, it is expected for Fnatic Onyx to have at least one uh, kind of play with a play with Dragon and then that Eternal Guard from uh, Sans. It kind of be like the problem here is that the lineup of Falcons Apron is more on the AOE crowd control. Mm. Now for Fnatic, it's more on the single targeting. So if uh, um, Falcons Apron is one step ag ahead against them, then they can do a play against Fnatic Onyx. Now, okay, we will go into a little bit of a pause right here, but Falcons AP brand actually took breather, down you know? the T1 <laughs> down the mid side, which opens up a lot of opportunities for Fnatic to try to get that defense down. Like you said, we need a little bit more time for the Moscow to come online. Mm -hmm. Super Marco actually showing very, very strong progress on that Roger as well. Now, the scoreline is really, really tight. Very 2K tight. Lead on the, oh, favoring the side of FCAP, but the Stamas and this Sin is just so, so annoying. Yeah. Let's move by Gideon onto the desk to see what he thinks so far about this game. I mean, I was expecting this game to go exactly the way that it is, but it really just boils down, as I mentioned before, to Keyboy making these sick plays, and he does, despite giving first blood over. Yeah. Uh, it's very difficult for the Cho to be in the face of Jusin because it's always yeah. like, you know, using the pepper spray, I like to call it, because the lantern is so, so darn <laughs> annoying. You get yeah. close, you're in the midst of that lantern, you're able to just push out, but no, Jusin pulls you back, yeah. and Few has been playing it so well. No one uh, wants to get close to a pepper spray, Pray, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. But that's, that's an understatement, it's, Chantel. It, it's something that makes the lineup of uh, Falcons AP brand very annoying if you're a fanatic Onyx. So uh, they might want to go on uh, the gank instead of a 5v5 uh, setup. Uh, but it's something that will limit the potential of Sans because the hero of Sans is meant for a heavy team fight, right? But if they go on a better route, then maybe things will look good for Fnatic on it. Well, we're jumping back into the game, wasting no time at all. FCAP actually taking control of that top side and trying to go for a 4-1 composition. They know they need to maintain the lane pressure on both ends. A very, very strong start for FCAP. Fnatic on it, you're pushed into wall. 2K gold behind. What is your play here, Chantel? Actually, for Falcon Saber Brand, they just need to do what they're uh, doing. But uh, take note, the churros that for the explanators of both teams, they already have the enchanted talisman. But definitely, Flap PZ is up on a lead against uh, Lutpi. So again, the difference is that for the oh, hero, actually, the goal lead is so wide. Yeah, for an explanator and the uh, the innate skill of these uh, heroes are very different from each other. It's definitely Falcon's AP Brand winning on that lane. Definitely that 1.5k gold lead is on Flat PZ's side. Well, that being said, Chewe already got the golden staff, so that's another power spike. Just that it's a little bit more time for the Trinity to come online. But FCAP, Fnatic, they, so they want to go for it. Few getting caught in the middle. He's forced to use the ult to get away. They go out safe, and I want to try to get that discipline. They want to go for this turtle keyboy, taking a lot of too much damage. SOD lands, but I don't think Strayway wants to go for it. AP, AP, Falcons AP Brand, they take what they can and they back off. That's the discipline that I love from this team. Looking steady right now. What a smart move from Fuel. He used that ultimate just to escape the damage 
from uh, Kyrie, and because of that, there's no threat from Kyrie when uh, you uh, when taking that uh, turtle for Falcons Apri Brand. So it's more of a fanatic on. Oh, Flatizi just walking in, trying to force that retribution, but it doesn't really matter at this point. It's just so hard for Kyrie to just keep his farm up. You know what? For fanatic on, just they just have to be mindful of the available resources whenever there is uh, an upcoming team fight because most of the time for Falcons Apri Brand, it's either they force out the flicker, it's either they force out a shadow kill against Kyrie. So things are looking good for Falcons AP Bren and Supermarket is just having the time of his life being on the lead in terms of farming on this game. Well, foundationally, you would face up against a team fight composition with a split push. Now we're seeping into the eight minute mark. I think the knock wants to try to be able to send one person or two persons down onto the side lanes, try to split Falcons AP Bren apart. And that's the key to success for Fnatic Onyx victory in terms of these neutral objectives. But Keyboy, Struggling to find intelligence, struggling to get even close to few, and the way the juice in is being used up, it's so so annoying. Yeah. And it's just a battle of attrition at this point where AP brand they're constantly pushing ahead. They know where Kyrie will be. Once the purple buff is up, there I will be. It's as if uh, they're dictating the tempo of the Ooh. game, but then it's gonna be a set of play again. Oh, Keyboy pushes Fu back to the wall, but he uses the crimson. Get out of the way. Keyboy can pull back. That is a misplay. Super, super unfortunate. Right before the lot spawns up in 20 seconds. Okay, middle of the lane again. Falcon Saber Brand is forcing oh, a set of play. The Dolphin with a new, nice little jump down into the back line. Take a little bit too much damage. Okay. Kyrie trying to sweep up everything while on the back side. Super Marco actually takes out Lupi in that process. That's two members down, a very extended team fight. But a the Falcon's AP Brand actually has control of all these objectives. Yeah, again, when we started this day, the question was, is Su Shin part of the meta or not. But this play from uh, Falcons AP Bren, Shushin is definitely a threat if opened for a specific team. Hence, Falcons AP Bren taking this Lord. Hence, having the lead against Fnatic Onyx. Now, looking at the things right now, it's very difficult for Fnatic Onyx to get a piece against uh, Falcons AP Bren. Kyrie is at level 12, but Kyle TZ is at level 13. And the rest of the players is definitely on a gap in terms of levels. Oh. But at the middle lane, another set of oh. play. Luffy goes right into the heart of the battle. Everything's going low. Luffy's trying his best to survive. Kyrie? He gets taken down, but Kyrie onto the back line. Everyone's low, but it's not enough. Not enough damage from Fnatic Onyx. There goes two. Luffy Keyboy goes down as well. There goes Kyrie as well. Super Marco actually cleaning up shop, and they take it down. Lord marching on the bottom side. AP, Falcons AP Bren actually looking to tear down the T1 down mid. Oh wow, Falcons AP Bren just forcing Fnatic Onyx to back away during that team fight. And while that was happening, the Lord was uh, with Chewe. So the potential of Chewe is being limited here. Now, he doesn't even have any assist against Falcons AP Bren. And uh, even if uh, um, Falcons AP Bren is on the lead, they're ready for uh, the deadliest situation that they could be because uh, Flap TZ has the dominance eyes. I want to be up front. I want to limit mm -hmm, that life mm -hmm. seal and spell them looking. Oh, that's an instant, very fast no, instant No, we're going replay. back to the, yeah, we're going yeah, back yeah, to the we're game. We're going back to the game. Yeah. But that being said though, I want to build on your point by limitations. Fnatic Onyx are constantly just one by one. They're queuing up to the inevitable doom. Yeah. And Falcons AB Brent, they're constantly sticking together. Here we go. Let's take a look at a replay. It. Well, okay. And we're back again. It's as if uh, they <laughs> say, oh, no, never mind the replay. Everything is happening so fast. We'll just get ready for the next team fight, which will well, happen Speaking now. of which, Kyrie taking a lot of damage, able to use that shadows to get Dash out of the way. But Keyboy in precarious position. He's got a passive down, but he's trying to find an angle. All waves are pushing in. Fnatic Onyx struggling, scrambling to find that defense. Oh, Luffy getting pulled back. Ooh. Here goes Spear of Alpha. Luffy is on the target, but on that back side, though, Eternal Guard trying to push, knock up everyone. Everyone's jumping up like trampoline. And Fnatic Onyx, they're going in strong. They're taking a lot of damage, but they will not give oh. up without a fight. There goes two. They make it three. Kyrie and CW are the only ones left. And CW all the way on that bottom side, trying to push everything they in. They don't have any place to go. back in. Falcons AP Bren. 
very, very disciplined in their gameplay. They're way too far ahead. That 7K goal lead, they want to end this and want to end this now. Possib they could possibly actually end this one, but then we have players here from Fnatic Onyx trying to defend their base. But here comes Falco, oh, Sandy Brand! Oh no, Kyrie with a sliver gets out safe. And the discipline coming from FCAP, they know that Fnatic Onyx is coming out of that base. And they get that <laughs> reset, Lord spawn up in eight seconds. That was <sighs> breathtaking, very breathtaking here for Falcon Safety Bren. Again, they're not letting Fnatic Onyx do anything on their way, anything that would be advantageous to them. So Falcon Safety Bren at 7k lead, I imagine it's just 12 minutes of our game. Everything is just looking good for Falcon Safety Bren. They're now starting the Lord. Again, they are on the lead in terms of items. Everyone is just on the lead, even Kiboy. Can't uh, zone out any player for Falco Safety Bren. Lord is third of their health. Kyrie looking for an angle, but doesn't matter. Mino, if you're on the back side, side goes down. Oh. Luffy with a final slash. No follow up. Luffy is in dangerous position. And the rest of Fnatic Army trying to pull back. Bottom side, CW left all alone. Fatizi says, no problem. I'll take you down. Fnatic Army scrambling again. Keyboy desperate trying to push everything back. Kyrie's oh. left all alone. It's a 4v1 situation at I think this that's point. It. It's over. It's I think over. that's Can't it. We can't defend. That's it. No. Falcon Safety Bread, they just need to destroy the base. Yeah, Falcon Safety Bread ripped the Sky Kings from the skies down to reality. Step back to reality. There goes gravity. And they take game number one. Is that straight from a song? That's from Eminem, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm man. I'm an Eminem fan. But yeah, for Falcon Safety Bread, it was a very fast and decent.